हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न स्टोन एज एंड स्टोन टूल्स स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी लर्न अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन इवोल्यूशन दैट हाउ ह्यूमन इवॉल्व फ्रॉम एप्स टू प्रिमेटिव मैन एंड देन फ्रॉम होमो हैबलिस टू होमो सेपियन सेपियन हु आर कंसिडर्ड टू बी एंसेस्टर ऑफ द मॉडर्न मैन right now in this lesson we will learn about a stone age and tools used in a stone age so let's understand what kind of life human have in stone age and why is it called a stone age in the beginning the life of human was not like today there was no television computers mobiles etc people have a very simple life and they use basic tools made of materials like stones bones sticks and dry wood for doing their work stone tools are found today nowadays we can found the stone tools but the bone tools are rare and tools made of stick and twigs decompose easily so we do not find tools made from them and therefore only the stone tools made by humans thousands of years ago are found today so students on this basis we can say that the period from which stone tools are found is called the stone age okay and stone age is divided into three periods old stone age or paleolithic age middle stone age or mesolithic age new stone age or neolithic age this division has been done on the basis of the shape and the types of stone tools found during excavation so let's understand and learn about these three periods and the tools made in these periods old stone age or paleolithic age paleo means old and lithos means stone so old stone age students homo habilis and homo erectus who belong to the old stone age both made their tools using the percussion technique now you might be thinking that what is this percussion technique in this technique one large pebble is beat or beaten or is strike against another to obtain flat and therefore the tools made in the old stone age were crude why because only one side of those tools had a sharp edge and such tools are known as choppers okay and these choppers could only be used for breaking nuts or bones tools like the hand axe and claver made by homo erectus were more proportionate and symmetrical you can see Mm, see in this picture uh, tools like hand axe a chopper a stone hammer etc you can see the pictures of these tools in your book it shows that the different tools were used for different tasks a students remains of the tools from the old stone age have been found in india at various places 
For example, Gangapur near Nasik and Chirki Nevasa near Nevasa are among the well-known old stone sites in Maharashtra. Now, moving on to the next, we will learn about the Middle Stone Age, which is also known as Mesolithic Age. Meso means middle and lithos means stone so middle stone age in the middle stone age due to change in the climate and the environment the way of life of women had begun to change beside hunting homo sapiens had started to harvest food grains and domesticate animals. Their diet now included various plant foods. They made different tools for hunting, fishing, harvesting and cutting trees. These tools were light, durable, proportionate and symmetrical. Many sites of Middle Stone Age have been found in India, among them Bagor in Rajasthan, Bhim Betka in Madhya Pradesh, and Lang and Langhat in Gujarat and Patane in Jalgaon district in Maharashtra are famous. New Stone Age or Neolithic Age. Neo means new and lithos means stone. So, new stone age. In this period, the tools were polished and had a smooth and shiny finish because new types of tool making technique was developed. Tools were mainly made for agricultural work as hunting had become a secondary activity. You had learned that in old stone age, hunting was a primary activity of human being. But in new stone age, agricultural work became a, sec became a primary activity and hunting became a secondary activity. So, tools were lightweighted, durable, proportionate, symmetrical and efficient. So, students, in this chapter, we learned that how gradually tools develop and used for different, different tasks. Now, let's solve the exercise and our first question is fill in the blanks. So, A, that period of which the tools that we find are mainly made from a stone is called the dash dash. So, you have to choose the answer which is given in bracket. So, the correct answer would, would be a stone is. So, you have to write over here a stone is. Now, second one, dash near Nasik is a well-known old stone is site in Maharashtra. So, the answer will be Gangapur. So, Gangapur near Nasik is a well-known old stone age site in Maharashtra. Now, question number two. Find out the odd pair from the following. Find out the odd pair from the following. So, the answer will be Maharashtra and that's Bijapur because Bijapur is in Karnataka. So, this pair will be odd pair. Now, ne next one is answer the following question in brief. Question number three, answer the following question in brief. First one is how did man use the percussion technique? So, the answer will be the man in old stone age used the percussion technique to make stone tools. 
This technique involves beating and striking one large pebble against another to obtain a stone flake. Okay. Now, <coughs> next question. Uh, what revolution was brought about by Homo sapiens in the tool making techniques? So, I am giving you answer and the answer will be the Homo sapiens made knife, scrapper, borer and chisel from the, from the long blades. He used ivory and rare stones of the quartz variety for, variety for making tools and other articles. So, these are the question answers. Of this exercise question number five which of the following modern machine has a stone grinder which of the following modern machine has a stone grinders so the answer will be floor mill question number six so the following place on the map of India. You have to show the following places on the map of India. You, you have to do it yourself. Try to do it by yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, here I am finishing this lesson. I hope that you like and find it interesting. Thank you very much.